Hey everybody, welcome back. This week, we're gonna learn how to make your offer stand out from the competition. Here at the Real Estate Tip from the Trail, this week we're at Hunter Creek in Southwest Reno. It's very heavily trafficked, out and back trail, about five and a half miles and 1,200 feet elevation gain. One of my favorite hikes because you start out in the sagebrush and Great Basin grasses, and you move on up into the lush fir forest. So it's really, really cool to check out. Plan for about three to four hours and go ahead and bring your dog and horse. It's March, which means spring buying and selling season is just around the corner. If you find the house that you really love, chances are other buyers may be eyeing the same property. Are you ready for the competition? Well, stick around and listen to these five tips that will help you stand out and win the deal. Tip number one, make sure your pre-approval is in order with your local lender and that they have everything that they need to vouch for you. Tip number two, contingencies and timelines. Make sure you only include contingencies that are absolutely necessary and shorten the timelines as much as you can with the ones that you absolutely need to include. Three, earnest money deposit. Typically this is about 1% of the purchase price but you can ratchet this up as you see fit and this will show the seller that you are really serious about following through with the transaction four price make sure you do your due diligence do a comparative market analysis with your agent and make sure that you're comfortable with the offer price and keep in mind that if the appraisal comes in a bit low it reopens the negotiation table with the seller but if they have multiple offers, it's potential that they would go with another offer. So always good to potentially have that extra cash to make up the difference between the contract price and the appraised price. Five, make sure you write a letter to the sellers. Include a photo. Tell them what draws you to their property. It's amazing how far a heartwarming story can go in terms of getting your offer accepted. So keep that in mind. And always remember, if you don't, if you miss out and you don't win the, win the deal, it's not the end of the world. There are other options out there and hopefully you'll find the perfect house for you. Thank you again for joining me this week. And as always, near or far, please reach out to me with any of your real estate needs. Thank you and see you next time.